<laughs> Yo, what's going on, boy? Go with Star Green. Bet you got another bill day. Uh, I. <laughs> I just got done seeing the new movie, uh, uh, Countdown. We got a problem, 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 it's probably you, yeah, we got a problem, we got a problem, we got a problem, we got a problem. um, made by, like, the director's name is, uh, Justin Deck. This dude has done, um, I'm number four, more movies like that. Uh, you would think seeing this movie, he has something to do with Truth or Dare. Who knows? So he wrote and directed this movie. And uh, I'm, guys, I don't know. Like I, I'm gonna dig deep on this movie, y'all. You gotta. But if I let a spoiler go, bro, y'all ain't gonna be mad at me while the spoilers go. I'm not gonna try to, but if I do, I'm sorry. Uh, so the main thing about this movie is uh, there's this app that if you if you download it, <laughs> if society downloads this app. Uh, it tells you when you died. Now, you can either have, like, 70 years, 80 years, or you could be, like, some of the main characters and have, like, a fucking day or something. Oh, uh, and the funniest thing... Guys, this day ain't the funniest part. The funniest thing is... <laughs> Yo! Oh. Oh, my God. Like, the funniest thing... Like, okay, hold on. I only want to get into, like, the funniest thing about this movie. I only want to hit that point yet. Guys, I am not lying to you. I'm not BSing you about anything. Bro, I haven't seen this guy since George Lopez. And they got my man in the movie on one of them serious roles. Y'all remember motherfucking Ernie? <laughs> Yo, if you guys see this movie, they have Ernie in the movie and he is a priest in the movie, bro. Oh my God. I was just like sitting there like watching him on the screen like what are you doing here? Holy crap. Uh, and it's like and they don't even stop there with the stupidity. They got some more characters. Uh you're probably gonna recognize one from everybody's Chris, the mother from everybody's Chris. Uh just forget her name. But you know, let's just dig deep in this movie, y'all. Like I said, I I, I saw the movie, but they got this the damn the the, the time clock, y'all. Uh, about hey, you know, saying so you're gonna know when you're when you're gonna die. That's pretty much what this movie is about. And they, the crazy thing is, they add a story to this. <laughs> they add make <laughs> they put, they push a plot for this. Now, what I'm gonna say is, um, the plot was very interesting to me. Like I was like, okay, it's cool. Um, knowing when you're gonna die, that's that's pretty dope. But it's like. There's rules in this movie, and there's there's rules about the timer and all that, and I don't even follow it, y'all. I am not BS, you guys. Like, throughout the first part of the movie, I really, the writing in the movie, in the first part of the movie, was really good. Now, towards the second part of the movie, I feel like they might have fired the writers. I don't know who, I, I don't know what went, I don't know what went wrong in the second half, y'all. But I'm not here to talk about the second half yet. I'm here to talk about the first half. First half ain't that bad. It's not bad until you understand. Um, <laughs> yeah, let me find this real quick. Uh, it's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad till you understand who's chasing them. Yo, these main characters are out here. Or <laughs> hope I'm not too loud in the mic. But these main characters are out here getting chased by the motherfucking Grim Reaper. Oh my god! Yo! Yo! These guys, y'all won't understand till y'all see the movie. These main characters are getting chased by the Grim Reaper. All he needs is this little bitty stab. Now... This movie did give me, like, truth to their type vibes because it's like an idea, and they they go deeper into the idea, which they should never should have done. They should have just, like, okay, cool, you this is when you die, and it should have been, like, some Final Destination type of stuff that happened, right? Now, they do kind of explain it, and it's like, okay, these characters do certain things, but if they change, like, what they're doing, it's so stupid, like... The, the, the freaking Grim Reaper pops up and he, t <laughs> and he takes marriage in his own hands. Literally, like, if they're supposed to die a certain way, like, say the character's supposed to die a certain way, literally, and they literally avoid how they're supposed to die in that moment, 
<laughs> Literally, the Grim Reaper shows up and takes matters in his own hands, y'all. It is the most funniest crap, guys. Like, it's not meant to be funny. But after a while of seeing the crap, you just you just start to laugh. You gotta laugh at it. Also, when it comes to the movie, they do not know what type of tone they want to set. There's parts where it's funny, and it's not meant to be taken seriously. And there's also parts where it is meant to be taken seriously. This movie doesn't even know what it wants to But it was, yeah, it was a whole bunch... It was uh, straight truth or dare vibes, y'all. You know how truth or dare, um, it, it was an idea, but at the same time, there was like a demon behind everything. It's pretty much the same. <laughs> they gave this demon a whole backstory, too. I was just like, oh, Lord, here we go. <laughs> and the funny thing is, guys, I don't even know if I really explained it, but like towards the end of the movie and all that, they don't even follow their own rules. The rules is once you hit that timer, you have to die or whatever. Like you, they, 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 life happens and you die, right? Guys, I don't even want to spoil it, but it's like they don't follow it. They don't follow their own rules. Literally, the demon cheats. <laughs> the Grim, the I'm gonna call him Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper literally cheats in this movie. He's like, oh, 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 you think you can beat my game? Oh. Okay, I got you. And he tastes like he, he when he shows up on the screen, y'all. Y'all gonna laugh your butts off, bro. Oh my god. Now there was the the two. I would there was a main character and then there's like a side character. Now I really did enjoy these two in the. Oh, you can't even see a homeboy. <laughs> but I really did enjoy these two in the movie. The girl on the right is the main character in the movie. I can't remember her name. But she, but she's not a bad main character. It, 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 she reminds me of um, the girl from uh, 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 Happy Dev Day. She reminds me from her. She might be. She looks just like her. She, they could have just gotten the girl, but she looks. Uh, she reminds me of her big time in the movie. And little side, little dude in the back. When he comes to the movie, he's dope, man. I really enjoyed his energy in the movie. I really felt like he actually wanted to be there. Be there. But I mean, like. I, I can't get this movie a pass, y'all. This this movie it, it it just gets so dumb. Like it literally gets so dumb. Like I would tell my friend Chris, uh, literally, the movie it goes good. The writing goes good, right? Everything is good, and then towards the midpoint of the movie, it, it, it's like they gave up, and they just was like, Wee. it's like they I guys, y'all have to see how bad this movie gets, y'all. Holy crap! And you know what? F it. I'm gonna say it. They have the audacity. The audacity. Y'all, look, there still might be time. I don't wanna put this review out. They have the audacity to try to make a sequel. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. No, no, no. No, no, no. Please don't. Yo. And is this is. Bro, homeboy. I don't forgot about homeboy. Look. <laughs> There's another preacher in the movie that pops up. Guys, here's. You have to, you can't take this movie seriously, guys. Please don't take this movie seriously. Guys, I'm not lying to you guys. When we first get introduced to his character, y'all, my man is really playing some Lil Nas X F anemia, bro. I, that was like, in a, and it's in a church of all places. He's over here playing this. I'm like, you would think some, some gospel music would be playing? Nah, we're playing F anemia by Lil Nas X. I'm just like, ah, okay. Um... Like I said, guys, man, throughout the movie, the, the first the first half of the movie, I, I, as I say, I really, I really did enjoy it, guys. I really enjoyed the... Oh, oh, I didn't even get into that. Oh, my God. I I, don't, I ain't put it in my notes. Guys, these jump scares are so freaking terrible, y'all. Well, not, not all the jump scares are bad, but it's like every time somebody's going to get killed, they literally cut away from it. Now, I understand it's PG-13, but I think at the same time, the studio should have went ahead and made this movie radar. I think it would help with the audiences. They could and it could add more like horror elements. They could like kill people on kill, like none of the kills are like on screen, y'all. And which is it's it's freaking terrible, y'all. It needed they just need to add so much more. Um, I really wish this movie was radar, y'all. It this this movie needs needed to be radar, y'all. And I think. They're going with PG-13 to try to get more of an audience in the door. But it's like, guys, there's some movies that... This this movie needs to be rated right R. The jump, the, the, the jump scares that you think you're going to get... Man, they're not even there, y'all. 
it's freaking, it's just trash. And it's like, oh, especially like the towards the end of the movie, it's like, man, that that's 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 y'all product. And then look, there's this idea. I'm like, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna spoil it. But there's this idea, man, like where you know you think. How do I say this? I don't care. I don't even know if y'all even care about spoilers. This movie's so freaking whatever. I didn't get my rating yet. But there's a uh, there's a point where the characters start to figure out. Okay, 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 it is. And then they try to they they try to beat it, but it's like it's stupid on how they do it, y'all. I don't. I can't really explain too much without giving it away, guys. The ending of this movie was freaking terrible. They need to redo the whole ending of the movie and release it another day. I don't know. But this ending was just terrible, guys. Throughout the film, I it just... It was good at first. Started getting sloppy towards the end. Like, they kind of gave up, y'all. But at the same time... Jesus, bro. I could... You know what? I was going to give this movie a 1 out of 10, bro. But, bro, they had a whole demon in the movie, y'all. Or they had a demon slash a freaking Grim Reaper in the movie, y'all. That's the only way I'm gonna get this movie a pass, bro. Just cause the Grim Reaper, oh, I'm calling him Grim Reaper. Every time the Grim Reaper show, oh my god, every time the Grim Reaper showed up, y'all, I loved him. I loved it. I loved it. I I love the Grim Reaper, y'all. But I'm gonna give this movie a four out of ten, guys. And I'm gonna give it a four out of ten because this studio has the audacity to try to set up a sequel, y'all. They have the audacity. Like, I think the same thing happened with Truth or Dare. They tried to set up a sequel. But this, they really try to set it up, y'all. And I, if, if you're watching this from the studio, please make another movie. Don't do it. Don't do it. Or have better writers. Because what y'all put out there, come on, y'all. Y'all could I could have wrote a better script than that. But, yeah, 4 out of 10, y'all. If y'all want to go see it for the laughs, I mean, they're not, there's no, like, comedy. Not, there's not too much comedy in the movie. I just laughed because how stupid some... Okay, I didn't get on that. God dang. These characters are freaking idiots, y'all. And it's not even like... Man, it's like... Uh, where, where, where Homeboy at? Man, where, I missed you. Man, Homeboy is a freaking retard, too. This dude right here is just retarded, too. Like, come on, man. We supposed to be better than this. And we just... We still making these stupid horror element mistakes but i get it it's for plot purposes plot point choom 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 i get it i get it but at the same time you're not getting the pass for i give this movie a four out of ten easily could be a three out of ten y'all but like i said grim reaper made the movie better bro <laughs> that, that that was that was some funny stuff right there um if you're new to the channel hit the subscribe button also if you're new hit the like button and i'll see you guys in the next one